In the name of the Emperor, finish this! Welcome to Don Moore's Art of the Higher ground, we'll gain the advantage! Died. All right. On hard. The planet Cronus, beset on all sides by the tides of war, this once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the warp, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus, caring little for others' claims and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, Ancient enemies of the Necrons emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions and the total defeat of all others. Well, I'm gonna go with the Necrons. Because they're the faction that gets added. Well, that and the Tau. But the Tau will be for Soulstorm. So let's do it. The Necrons had lain buried in the sands of Cronus for eons having retreated there at the end of a great war only hinted at in the histories of ancient races like the Eldar. Long before man even stood upright, the Necrons and their dark gods had retreated to their tomb worlds. But their slumber was not eternal. Eventually their genocidal deities awoke them again driving them to purge the life that had spread across the galaxy during their sleep. On Cronus, this awakening came when an archaeological team opened a mysterious crypt on the arid Thor Abyss Plateau. Most of the team died, but expedition leader Thomas Maccabee somehow became one of the mysterious Necron pariahs. Seemingly retaining a hint of his personality, he occasionally spoke for the Silent Army as it advanced. The Necron Lord of Cronus, the most ancient and powerful of the deathless creatures on the planet, promptly launched a campaign of extermination. His loathsome god, the Nightbringer, hungered for the deaths of all those on Cronus. And so we begin. Welcome to Dark Crusade. Okay. So we... The way it works, you go conquer territories and you have to... Your goal ultimately is to 
destroy the enemy strongholds. The, um, the Chaos Necron, and the, the Chaos Eldar, Tau, Imperial Guard, Dwarf, and Space Marine strongholds. There's also to the um, single player campaign for Dawn. Ignoring that. There's also various provinces that give you various bonuses, such as Honor Guard units that you carry from battle to battle, or, uh, for instance, Spaceport, or something that I do want, Fury, which allows you to attack two provinces per turn. Now, here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my Necron Lord and I'm going to attack the uh, Heartland right here. And the reason I'm attacking this Heartland is because you get the Crypt Immortal Squad. And they're fairly damn good. Um, although, maybe it would be good to get some infantry first before that. I mean, they're good. Th I mean, I would think the Immortal Squad only against uh, effective against. Well, I need something that's effective against infantry early on. Yeah, I fought the Immortal Squad. So uh, instead. Uh, yeah, so what I'll do is get then uh, the coast. The Mariah coast. Alright. I don't particularly like the way it's. Like, it's kind of a sandbox in a sense with some things, but there's problems. I need two units of these guys. Right. And I believe that they will be... We're facing chaos here. They'll be here. So the thing about the Necrons is they're tough sons of bitches, so they're extremely difficult to take down. And that's obviously something that compares a very strong advantage. In particular, your Lord is very powerful, so that's that's very useful. The problem is that your units are slow as hell, so there is actually a price to pay. The thing about Dark Crusade is that any structures you build here will be carried over in effect. So what I need is uh, to, to at least advance to tier 2 with my monolith. Uh, I think that would be a good idea. I believe the forces of chaos are uh, here. Might be wrong though. I mean, the problem is you don't even know where your enemy is and they can get the full, uh, full army. Like this can descend into a complete uh, bat, uh, complete cluster fight of a battle. There we go. Now, Chaos is fairly easy to deal with. The Imperium, however, is not. And it's just because of the early units. You, you'd think the Guardsmen would be fairly easy to deal with as Chaos, but you would be wrong. Because they have a tendency of getting uh, grenade launchers. Now there is a problem with the, the way they did 1080p resolution, or maybe it's just because I was used to how it was, how 1080p looked in uh, in uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, 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 how it looked in Winter Soldier and in the vanilla game.
Units don't get saved, the structures do. Fortify Obelisk. Alright, so we secured the Mariah. Alright, and now I get the decision of, of gear.
Alright, so we have gotten him. Now the Imperium holds this island, and I do want this island for the Crypt Pariah the squad. And then once I, once I get it, uh, that's obviously going to be a very great benefit to me personally. Uh, let's end the turn. So I'm going to fight these, this battle as well. Now, they did fail. Chaos did fail, they tried, but they did fail. But that's a, well, a great benefit to me, because what that means is that I personally get... Um, oh, or not. Uh, I was kind of hoping that... I was kind of hoping that because of the failure there, uh, that I, what would happen is that their defensive capabilities would be weakened. But that didn't happen. Now... So instead, we get to deal with this. Oh, lovely. It's gonna get one squad. I don't need more. Not in this particular situation. I think. I mean, if there's more needed, I, yeah, I can certainly build a full-scale army, go wall in, boss with the walls.
All right then. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, not gonna let them get that one then. If I do, then I'll be playing pain for it. For a while. So instead, what I'm going to do is... I'll settle for prior to tier 2. Alright, the Wraith isn't terribly durable, but it does a lot of damage.
This is not gonna happen in every situation. I think this is just like the early moves. That's it, the command. Alright. For a pariah squad. Hmm. Oh, I can't afford it this turn. Huh. Well, level 5. Because that's the thing you cannot resolve. Planetary rec All right, they've taken that territory from the Imperial Guard. My real goal will be to take the territory of Fury, like the advantage that you get by having that it cannot be cannot be overstated. Problem is they have two bases, so this one will probably be very difficult to to achieve. Although, I could also uh, get the crypt, uh, the crypt guard from that particular territory and the crypt immortals for increased manpower. Well, Kostin here on Serious Gaming, signing out, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.